A burger like mom used to make. If your mom or grandma never made this one, it's okay, we're gonna show you a new twist on an old classic. If you wanna see our take on these Lipton Onion Mixed Burgers, stick around while we dig in. Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in Brett's Test Kitchen. And I gotta point something out. Brett is not all that much taller than me. Moving on, so. <laughs> <laughs> How many times we get comments and people are like, wow, is Brett really that much taller? He's really not, he just stands like this all the time. I have good posture. Quick story time. <laughs> when we were kids, Brett and I would go in for pictures like this and people would say, all right, on the count of three, one, two, and no kidding, before three. See, he just naturally does that. So in so many pictures, he looks a lot taller. He might be a little taller than me. Why am I telling you this now? Has absolutely know. nothing to do with what we're cooking today. But Brett, yes. we are cooking what I deem an old classic favorite. Mm -hmm. And when I've seen others do this, I immediately am drawn back to our childhood. Yes. Mom made these Lipton onion soup mix burgers from time to time. Okay. They have a different flavor. <laughs> I said okay, like it okay. wasn't fair. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> From time to time, and they are different. Yes. Uh, they're so good, and if you haven't done them, you gotta try them now. When I was doing some research because I wanted to do this one, mm -hmm. I came across a recipe that actually mixes this with mayonnaise and the ground beef. Making it a little bit different, I thought, ooh, let's do a new twist on an old classic. Yes, and in fact, the, the mix, by the time it's said and done, is the way I would imagine a real life Krabby Patty to look like. <laughs> Brett, let's get to the groceries so people know what we're talking about. Here we go, we got the 80-20 ground beef, and like Adam said, the soup mix with the mayonnaise. And we'll be topping these. And oh, breadcrumbs, actually. And breadcrumbs, you're right. We will be placing them on these King's Hawaiian oh, 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 pretzel buns. buns. So we're definitely excited about that. We're gonna be using lettuce, tomato, onion, ketchup, mustard, and American cheese. And lettuce. I did lettuce. say lettuce. He didn't say lettuce. Adam, Adam. just in case during the edit. <laughs> <laughs> but I am excited for this boar's head American cheese as well. Yeah, Adam is going to be doing all the food touching and stuff. Ooh, so right. So I gloved up already, ready to get going on this one. Brett, let's change the angle. Let's get uh, let's get to filming. Here we go. We do use oil that we'll be using here. So I've got this burner on low. We meant to cook that on medium low, so I'll bring that up just a little bit. And you know, I don't know how many times I've said this. This is our, we've done a few cooks here at Brett's and I keep meaning to adjust the back peg so it won't shift and I keep forgetting. It's okay, cause no, no, I mean, it's just the oil that's going down and that's okay. So I'm gonna let that come up to temp a little bit and then I'm gonna throw these burgers on and get a good little sear on them. We're gonna go ahead and get these on here. Get those right there the and get goes those. wild. One thing that I wanted to point out on this burger is we did go ahead and put a little dimple in the middle. The purpose of that is just to help keep it from bowing up yep. a little bit. It just helps with the cooking process. Mm -hmm. So we'll let that go for about four minutes. Now these look completely different, Brett said. They look like a Krabby Patty. That's from the mayonnaise that's in there. We've got breadcrumbs as binder in there, and we've got a whole bunch of Lipton onion soup mix. It's their secret soup mix, mix recipe uh, that's just really, really good. And that smells divine. And I don't know what the secret is. It's onions and soup. There's the mix. <laughs> So actually, as I look here, I see this starting to come up. That's how I know that it's cooking through. Now, I know that my back section cooks a little bit hotter than the front, so I'm just gonna do a quick check and see where we're at. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's good. That's, that's that ready. one's good. This one, bro, They're these are ready actually to turn, man. looking pretty good. Good looking bergs. Good looking berg. So that's got that. some good sear happening there. I'm really happy with that one. Uh, obviously, you know we love smash burgers more than life itself, pretty much. But um, sometimes we make what I I consider anything that's not a smash burger a thick burger. <laughs> yeah, right, thick right, burger. So there's, there's smash burgers and thick burgers. Right. That's there's it. no in between. But these are these would be a little bit more thick burger style, and I love when we get a good juicy one. So those are great. We're just gonna let those sit probably another three or four minutes and uh, then we'll pull them and eat them up. Well, you know what? Our good buddy Chris dropped in, so we're Love gonna you. go ahead and get some more heat going. I'm gonna crank this up because we're gonna make some smash burgers here in just a minute with this. We're gonna do this burgers, Lipton onion burgers, two ways. So those are just about done, and while we're waiting for the temp to rise for the smash burgers, we're gonna go ahead and just let those rest for just a minute. Bread is all about steam, but don't worry, the process works. The cheese will continue to melt the because steam's, it's just fun. The steam is just fun. Brett just likes the steam. I don't care for steam so much. I mean, this, I do like the steam, but Brett uses so much steam, you could film a white snake video on the griddle surface is what it is. But look at that. We're gonna plate those. That. 
is what it's all about. Call this the hokey pokey, because that's <laughs> what it's all about. <laughs> so we got some heat right there. So I am anxious to see how these will work with smash towel. I loosely packed these meatballs, um, and while the mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs are gonna act as binder, you're still gonna have a little bit more give in these, so I wanna see how well they hold together. Also, uh, just because they are gonna spread apart because it's the nature of smash burgers. So get my uh, silicone sheet here. We're gonna lay it, the smash it down. Okay. So the, Look at <laughs> that is Bible a good, paper thin. That is amazing. So I do have to move this one over a smidgen. A smidgen? To send it to another region, how about? There you go. All right. Now we've learned with this griddle, it doesn't have give, so they smash, but they pull apart and that's okay because you get more flavor on the sear mm -hmm. where those uh, spaces are created, those little holes. They end up being some of the most flavorful burgers that we make. And I've learned on this, I don't mind holding for 10, 15 seconds. Okay, well, so I destroyed this one as I'm explaining the whole process, right? So look at that. Look, Look at that, that. my R. That's some good sear right there, my guy. My R reaction. And here's the problem: is that burger right here? It didn't smash as well. Chris, I promise this is still going to be a good burger. <laughs> He's just over here shaking his head, getting okay. the thumbs One up. One cheese for each. Cheese them. Cheese them and please them. All right, we got Chris with us, one of our best friends, and he happened to be in town. Hmm, I came on a filming cooking day, who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. But he's the one who requested the smash burger, turning this video in the middle of filming from a regular Lipton onion mix video to yep. uh, Lipton onion mix video burger. Two ways. Two ways. Yes. Uh, so we're okay with that, but go ahead and grab your burger, Jeremy. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can grab it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm gonna set the plate down. Well, gentlemen, this, oh, gosh. It's like we say it can look amazing. This looks amazing. Chris, does it look amazing? Absolutely. <laughs> Yours looks yeah. amazing too. Like we say it can smell amazing. And can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for naught. Cheers. Cheers. I'll lead to that. My, My brother. Mmm. 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 The Lipton onion. I'm just mm. smashing. Okay, this just goes to show you. I had a smash burger the other night. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can still do a smash burger. Mm -hmm. and still do it a different way. And right. It's completely different. Right. And still, how is that one? It's it's meat, cheese, and bun. Right. And burger <laughs> or a cheese drink. I didn't want mustard, or, mayonnaise, ketchup. He just ketchup. wanted the plain. I wanted this. And yeah. Is it, did it deliver? Did it deliver? Did, Brett. That is uh, yeah. <laughs> You might have to try this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to try. Guess we're smashing some bergs after this is over. Oh mm. my! That is, you get mm. the. It is. It is a different tasting burger mm. because, but, but it's still amazing. It doesn't take anything away. My favorite is the traditional smash burger, mm -hmm. but there is something that is so. Uh, nostalgic about the taste of the onion soup mix in the mm. in the in the beef and, and the mayonnaise say, the mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs in there as well. Flavor and this pretzel bun. You get the nice little pop with the onions that are in there. Of course, we got onions on top too. All these these flavors married together well. And yes, there was no pickles. So Kent, <laughs> Daddy Ducks Barbecue, you're welcome. That was for you. That's for you. <laughs> but yeah, I would I would like pickles on this too. But this burger is a banger. Look at this. I right, know. It's just going this, this away. Yep. So, thousands of ways to do smash burgers. But I will say even the thick burger, yep. every time I take a bite, there's so many good oh, flavors so in there. Good. I could do this with or without the pretzel bun, but these pretzel buns are amazing. Yes, these are the are. best pretzel buns I've had. They're, they're, they're very, so uh, they're small, 
But no, it was they, a regular sized. It was a regular sized bun. It was a regular sized bun. Either way, okay. But uh, but they're small compared to the patty. Yeah, well, his, his, his patty, his patty went <laughs> like that. So uh, but yeah, the, it's it's a, it's a good solid dense bite in that bun. Well. So, uh, the cheese. Listen, that is all so, this is all so amazing. I am so happy we did this one. If you get a chance, use the Lipton onion soup mix for your burgers. It really does give it such a different flavor, a unique flavor yeah. that is seriously top notch. <clears throat> this is another one I'd go to a restaurant for. Yeah, I really would. A food truck. Don't eat to. something. Right. Let's go to the Waltwins. <laughs> See? Or you, you just come just to the Waltwins house we'll where pull, you are family. So. We'll, we'll pull up a table. Like but it. if you did like this or you just really enjoyed watching Chrissy the Smash Burger, make sure and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we really do I know I did. I got the little screen right here. Yeah, I'm just loving it. Right? It's so, so satisfying. It's so satisfying. That's one thing about being that cooking right. is watching people enjoy the food right. that we enjoy more than mm -hmm. and eating it ourselves. That's for sure. And it is so fun having people over. Thanks for coming and being part of this. No, we really no, did love this. Thank you guys. Yeah. Man, but this is so That's much amazing. fun. Yeah. Giving a thumbs up is one way in which you can support us and what we do. We really do appreciate it. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions who works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service work. Brad, yep. we also have a Patreon. Yeah, we sure do. Shout out to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. And thank you for the support that you show us. And if you'd like to see how you can support us through Patreon, that information is down below as well. Right, and we really do appreciate it. And Brett is not that much taller than me. He just isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Hope we've established that. Yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris on the other hand, <laughs> Chris is taller than both of us put together. And we're okay with that. <laughs> put together. Brett and Chris, aside yeah. from coming to make this a banger of a sandwich, a hamburger, a smash burger, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grit along. along.